side now you have nobody you have nobody over there to block that see if, if it had been me I would have been castling on this side over here that's where I would have castled so I would have moved this stuff out of the way all right you got to play smart Lily make every move count pieces are. I am not cheating. Just get the door. Sir, you can buy so late uh, as your father home. You're 30 days for the eviction period have come and gone. And I got court orders here to move you out tonight. So unless you can get the landlord to sign a new lease tonight or you can show me something to overturn these eviction notices, I need you to move out tonight. Man, this is crazy. This is insane. Dad. George! Dad. Patty! George! Patty, come out here! Oh. Patty, you know this isn't right. This is not Patty. Patty. Settle Patty. down, okay? You can pick up the pieces. You can move on. Okay, we don't want everyone around here knowing what's going on. How much do you have left? 15. And I still have the $40 check for my route I can cash, so 55. You eat this. They'll give free hot lunches at school. I've seen them do it before. I can hold out till then. I'll keep on my route and see if I can bring in some extra money from donations. I'll get us out of this, I always do. I know you will. Hey. Hey. Thought we were walking to school together. What happened? Sorry, I didn't get a chance to call. Something came up, unexpected. 
The famed philosopher Goethe stated, of all the discoveries and opinions, none exerted a greater effect on the human spirit than that of the doctrine of Copernicus. The world had scarcely become known as round and complete when it was asked to waive the tremendous privilege of being the center of the universe. Never perhaps had a greater demand been placed on mankind, for with this admission, so many things vanished in smoke and mist. What became of our Eden? What became of our innocence, our piety, our poetry? Well, Lily, can you tell me what it was that Copernicus discovered and why he was so reluctant to publish his findings? Heliocentric cosmology. That's correct. Can you tell me what that was and why it was so important? Copernicus was the first one really to study and observe that Earth wasn't the center of the cosmos and that it revolved on an axis around the sun and that the sun was fixed in our solar system. Because of the church's belief that man was the center of the universe and that everything revolved around God's creation of man, he knew he would incur the church's anger if he published his findings. Mr. Emerson, what if you made such a discovery? A discovery that would rock the accepted beliefs of the religious and scientific community. All right, now. Can you handle one more? Yeah, stack it on, right. one more will be fine. Now, George, look, I know you're out there and you, working your little backside off and you're knocking on every door and you're not missing a trick, but George, you know, when that screen door opens, kind of just get your shoulder, in, just move your shoulder into there, you know, and say something like, hey, excuse me, ma'am, I got something in this box that's gonna save your life and at the same time may even save your soul. You know what I mean? You need a little pizzazz, you need a little salesmanship. You know what I'm saying? A little salesmanship, you know? People maybe, you know, now, when they take it and they offer you a donation, you keep it for yourself and you do some good with it, okay? Okay? Uh, frankly, you know, we could use it. I know, we all could use it. God bless. We'll see you God later, George. You. Okay. Thanks. All right. Bye bye. You betcha. These are animated DVDs for I children. I appreciate it. I'm not here. Thanks a lot. They have positive messages for kids on them. And I've got some, uh, I've got some great, uh, for, okay. Oh, hey, how are you? What's your name? Lila, Lila, would you like one? Oh, yes, you do. This is for me, huh? That's for you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you again, okay? Bye-bye. I'm a little old for children, but um, wait a minute. Take these. Ma'am, I can't take this. Want to get a game? Absolutely. Excuse me. Hi guys, we're gonna be closing in a few minutes. I'm gonna have to ask you to start gathering your things and head out for me. I appreciate it.
this thing? Hey, come here. Don't hey, come here. Phone, man. I mean, come on. Hey. Excuse me. Excuse you? Can you believe that? You break my phone. I mean, who's gonna pay for that? Huh? You know what the problem is? You think people want to watch this crap? What is this anyway? It's garbage. It's garbage is what it is. You don't want it, don't keep it. What? You know, you have a real big mouth for a little girl. Hmm. You teach her those manners? You need to teach her better manners, otherwise we'll teach her for you. You, you know, I'm... I'm sorry. I, I really didn't mean to, to offend you. Really didn't mean to. Sorry. I'm sorry. You gonna let him turn his back on you like that? Hey, come back here! Stop! Just stop! Okay, it's too late for stop! How you holding up? I got you some food, uh, but it might make you feel better. I'll just set it down over here. Uh, Lily, I have a uh, friend coming down here from the station. Uh, we can't leave you down here without supervision. Can you eat this up, please? Yeah. My dad would always make it extra warm for me. Yeah, absolutely. I'll be right back.
Excuse me, doctor. A nurse said I could talk to you. Uh, I'm Sergeant Russell. Dr. Emerson. Whenever they brought him in, there was a, a young girl that was with him, like 12, 13 years old. Have you seen her? No. Okay. Um, if you do, give me a call. This has to do with foster care. You can forget about it. And whoever she is, she'll be around as her dad recovers. I gotta go. Have a good day. Waited for you again. What's going on? You still want to come to the park Saturday morning? Keep it. I have another one in my locker. Excuse me, which floor is the recovery room on? Three. Three? Three. Thank you. Check night. Sorry. Okay. Cool. Put my bag now, okay? Looking for another match? <laughs> you're a kid. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah, it means you're gonna lose. It means you have the experience. Yeah, well, I know my game. How old do you know yours? All right, fine. One game. One. We'll see about that. Oh, that's a nice move right there, right? Oh, 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 but what happened there? wouldn't break my coat. Back off, okay? Hey, whoa, I, I'm just looking for some aspirin. Got any? Okay. All right. This, this used to be my bridge. 
me, my old lady, our son, people think it's got the jinx. The jinx? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, people used to drop their dogs off here, let them wander into the desert where the coyotes would get them. I mean, you can't believe everything you see. Here. Just in case coyotes get too close. Do you see a dog over there? Yeah, man, I don't get this stuff at all. <laughs> it, it's confusing. Um, Hi, Matt. Yeah. Oh, hey, hold on one sec. Oh, Lily, Lily, hey. Hey, hey uh, what's up? Not much. Not much myself. How are you? I'm good. Good? Uh, cool. Um, I didn't know you went to church here. Don't, actually. Oh, well, I mean, we got great donuts. <laughs> um, yeah, I... Should probably get going, actually. But, okay. Um... I'll see you at school. Okay. Uh, bye. Bye. We got great donuts. Mom, stop. You know, if you're looking for a rematch, you forget about the odds. Be to play even or not at all. Who says I'm interested in playing you? I'm looking for more of a challenge, not someone who just tries to match me move for move or wants to call a draw. What's your name, anyway? Lily. Yours? I'm Edward. Nice to meet you. Is that your bike? Yeah. Sad, ain't it? <laughs> can't your dad fix a tire for you? He can't do much of anything at the moment. All right. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Um, you play me to a win or a draw, I'll fix your bike for you. You're on. Yeah? All right. Yeah. You know I'm not going to have to, right? You wish, babe. Really? Really. You have no chance on this one, oh, okay? Yeah. Now, I own this right, board. Sure. See, this is board. Look at this. Rook, king, bishop, knight. Uh, There's you a pawn. might want to look at the board. You lose and I Show win. Me. Show oh, me. Show me. Show me. Come on! No! 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 Abs! No! No! What are you doing? Fixing it. You're gonna break it. Not gonna break it. Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. Yes. There. Okay. Come on. You did it. It's perfect.
Hey, shoot. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice weekend. Thank you, Lily. Come back here, please. Thank you. What's this? My homework. Okay. Uh, I don't normally accept papers that look like this. It's still legible. Kind of. How are things going at home? Look, Miss Phillips, I would have done the paper over again, but it happened right before I came to school. If this keeps happening, I'm going to have to send someone in to look in on you. Are you hungry? Yeah. I didn't get a chance to eat breakfast. It's been a rough few days. Okay. Enjoy your apple. Thank you. Hey, Lily. Hey, Matt. Hey, how you doing? Uh, fine. Look, come over to my house. We're having burgers. I have to get up around my bike, so... Oh. Well, hey, my mom's car's right there. We can just throw it in the back and we'll drive over. It'll be fun, I promise. You know what? Burgers sound great. Cool. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't kick it! It's already messed up enough as it is. You're a monster. Hey, hey Mom. How was your day? Good. Dr. Emerson? Lily? I offered to, to take got her... It, Sydney, what? Got Mom. It. Sydney. That's enough. Okay. I offered that we'd take it to the shop because it, it's kind of messed up as sure. it is. Sure. Uh, you can put it in the back if you like. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys, all fixed up. What happens the whole rim just like snapped completely in half. Well, thank you again. <laughs> I got it. You know what? Yeah, I got it. it counts. Hey, little rough, yes. but it works. Sydney's great at this. Yeah. Obviously. Wow. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to be the newbie at this. Hey, well. Oh, come on. <laughs> Everything I do. Miss Phillips? Yes. Lily, what happened? It looks like you were... Let me see. Okay, that's not too bad. Hold on. Take this to the nurse and get cleaned up, okay? Are you gonna be all right? PB&J, <laughs> classic mom. <laughs> Can I join you? <laughs> I'm sure you know Tina. Nice to meet you. Um, so Lily, I- You're in my I algebra class. 
Yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, but I wanted to ask Mr. you. Um, right. That's the guy. <laughs> Lily. See. Can I see you for a minute? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Oh, I'm good. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I was saving this for you. This is a chess competition, and the grand prize is a full ride scholarship to any accredited university. Lily, this is a really great opportunity for you. This is huge. It's something that could really change your life. And it's also something that you can do. I think you'll do great, okay? Good luck. Thank you, Ms. Phillips. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Sorry. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> thank you. Um, what was that all about? She wants me to play in the checkmate tournament. Well, sorry, chess master and uh, Tina. D Tina, right? Um, I gotta go, and you guys probably don't want to talk to a kid like me anyway. <laughs> hey, I think you're great. So what if the people who don't want to work for the grades want to put you down? What's the big deal? Well, stop by the church tonight. We're having movie night. You'll love it. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Excuse me. Hello? Hi. Can you tell me what happened to the people in 302? They left. Well, I see that. Do you happen to know where they went? Lady, I don't know who they are or where they went. All I know is they left me some good stuff. If you see them, can you please let them know that I need to talk to them? Here, I have a card. It has my number on it. Please tell him to call me, it's very important. Hey, if you see him, the father or the daughter, please tell him, it's very important. What's this, a note? If you see them, please give that to them and have them call me. Yeah, yeah. How's he doing? He's coming along. The doctor will be here shortly. We just did an EEG to test his brain waves. What's an EEG? It helps us tell how your dad's brain is responding to outside stimulus. Okay. Hi. Okay, everything's on here for you. Okay, great. Okay. Thanks, Mary. You're welcome. Good to see you. Hi, Lily. How are you holding up? Fine. What's going on with him? Uh. Um, well, his tests show we have a definite reaction in his alpha and beta frequencies. And when I speak with him, his auditory neurons appear to be firing as well. So you gotta keep praying for him. Who's looking after you? Are you okay or in some kind of trouble? I'm just staying with friends for the time being. Not in any trouble. Are you going to movie tonight? Yeah, she said he invited you. I sure am. Great. Afterwards, I'll drive you to your friend's house. Ready? Not too bad. You guys ready to go? Where are you going? She's taking me home. Um, giving me a ride. To your friend's house, right? Yeah, of course. Her dad isn't back home yet. What do you mean? My dad is uh, kind of in the hospital. So where are you staying? How long have you been hiding under the bridge? Since the accident. Why don't you go home? This is all we have right now. I'm fine. I can take care of myself, really. 
I'm sure you can, but you don't have to. Why did you come home with us tonight? You mean that? Yes. Mm -hmm. What about my clothes? My things? We can take care of that. Would you please take Sydney home? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Grab just what you need, okay? Let's go. Hey! Wrong place, wrong time, little girl. Look, we don't want any trouble. We have no problem with you. I'm fine. Let us show. No, I'll be with you. Come here, you little brat! I'll show you what I do. Get out of here! Come on, come on, Molly. Things, all right? I'm going to stay here until you have it all. Thank you, officer. Not a problem. She's okay staying with you? Oh, absolutely. Okay. I still need to talk to her, so I'm going to come by tomorrow, right? <laughs> okay, everybody. It's bedtime. Up you get oh, fresher man. tea. I'll have you stay in Sydney's room, okay? And I'll bring in some fresh towels and pajamas as soon as I get her tucked in. What's she like? She's nice. Her son goes to my school, too. You can't stay down here forever. 
But in the meantime, you got to take it easy on those who want to help. That's what real friends are for. You're right. That's it? I got to go get my friend back. mad at me for keeping a secret and not telling me you're homeless living under a bridge I'll get over it what's Matthew like like a little annoying brother well I never actually had a brother but if I did it'd be nice if he was like Matthew Mr. Fellows, I'm Dr. Emerson. It's great to see your eyes open. Lily. Your daughter Lily? She's good. She's a great kid. She goes to school with my son, Matthew. Uh, they're in the same grade. Um, she's going to be staying with us for a few days, just until you recover. I promise I'll take really good care of her. You know, it should be fine. I think it's long enough. Mostly. Maybe. Possibly. <laughs> um, <laughs> Lily? Lily, I'm Miss Stevens. I'm with Social Services. We went by to check on your living situation last night, and someone told us that you're a father and you had moved out. So I need to get your current address. Um, my dad's in the hospital right now. So I'm staying with another student's family. You're going to have to come with me for now. I need my assignments. Okay, come right back. Can I help you? Do you want a Checkmate cereal bar? Sure, what's in them? Same thing as cereal, only chocolate chips and marshmallows. <laughs> Calling it a cereal bar makes people think they're eating something healthy, but it's just my personal opinion, not a corporate motto or anything. It's good, actually. Really good. <laughs> Are you signed up? I am. Some kid named Agnes won last year. I'm sure he'll sign up again. But um, if you show up, I'll root for you. Thanks. I can hand someone's out for you. Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks. Thank you. See you soon. Hey guys, there's this cool tournament. Um, I don't know if you guys would be interested, but there's this really cool tournament. Here you go. Hey. Yeah, you know, it's too bad uh, I'm too old for that tournament. Otherwise, the scholarship would be mine come Saturday. You should come watch. There's free candy. Yeah, I've had too much of their candy. Look, I know, they're the big company in town, but I'm not so sure I want to rally support for one of their contests. My dad, he works for Checkmate in the shipping department. I went to every contest, six years old and up. Never won once. 
Yeah, I guess you just wanted more from me, you know? College, all that stuff. For me, the point is that I did the best I could. Regardless if I won or lose, I know I gave it a shot. Why are you so against her? This is my job. You're doing all this for the safety of the child? Correct. OK, then why is it that every time a child ends up in foster care, they wind up worse than if they would have stayed on the street? Guys, listen. No, please, to... hang on. What do you have against social Is Dr. Services? Emerson a viable option? That is not what we are discussing right now. She's raised two children. She's a single mother. She's doing a good job of it, too. Figure it out. We have to get this handled before we present this to the school board. Fine. But it's going to be on your hands, Sergeant. And I'm fine with that. Are we done? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, my last two years, played to a draw in the finals. Lost on points, both times. You know, second place out of 500 is the top percentile, even if your dad doesn't think so. I mean, you beat 498 people. That's fantastic. I want to show you something. I like it here. There's something about the water, you know? Just... One of the things I do when I'm playing chess is I like to make my mind like the water. You know, clear of all thought. The room can be chaos all around me, and I'm just looking at the pieces around the equations. Zoning out. You know, I think you're going to do great out there. I mean, you're smart. You are scary smart. And, and, yeah, you, you can take apart anyone's game. Your mind is just such a great asset, you know? Just be like the water. Let your mind clear. Let the winning take care of itself. And hey, try not to be so reckless, huh? See that kid behind me? The one in the hat? Yeah. That's the kid who beat me. The name's Angus. Look, Lily, chess is war, OK? Now, everyone in town knows you're good. What do you know about them? Hmm? What do you know about Angus? It's not about who's the best player, it's about who plays the best game. You have to get this lined up with this, because if you don't do that, you don't have anything. Play by strategy, play by the rules, not by intimidation. Get your pieces into position. Castle early, okay? And Lily, I know you like to play aggressively, but I am telling you, don't sacrifice your king shield pawns. You need to keep your focus, because if you're distracted at any point during the game, it's gonna hurt you. Push in your gut with all your heart, because if you're not doing that, you're not doing anything. Got it? Got it. Master that, and you'll be a champion. What are you doing? Uh, maybe we should come back during proper visitation hours. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, yeah but I mean, the hospitals are all like about rules and, and stuff. If they didn't want us here after hours, there would have been some kind of sign. There was a sign. Get up Dad? How are you? Um, maybe I should go. Yeah. I'll stop by tomorrow, though, okay?
sorry I'm late. I went to go see my dad. Lily? Oh, you're not in any trouble, Lily. We just needed to... Uh, Sergeant Russell and I were talking with Dr. Emerson, and we think it will be acceptable for you to stay here. Temporarily, anyway. Really? I'm really happy everything's working out for the both of you. Give my best to your father, okay? When did this start happening? About 7.45. At 8.15, there's a heart drop and blood pressure. And his right pupil has become fixed. We've got to get right. in there now. chess with every day? Who else am I going to argue with about all the little bumps in the road? We're a team. You can't leave me. I'm going to play in the tournament. I'm going to do it for you. And I'm gonna win. That's a promise. That's a promise. First time? All right, everybody. Especially you in the back. Settle down, please. Settle down. Thank you. Good luck. What I want you to go ahead and do for us because we're about Thanks. ready to start. Go to the board over Next, here. please. Your pairings, please. Now, without further delay, on behalf of Checkmate Serial and the Madison High School Checkmate Serial Chess Tournament, start your clocks. Thank you so much for coming today. On behalf of uh, Checkmate Bars, Bill Barker, I'd like to welcome you all. Just keep in mind, just keep it quiet. Everything's exciting because we all have friends and relatives out here. There's a little one from the man right there. What? Would you like a Checkmate Bar? So, uh, how's it going? Good, considering. Considering what? Things are getting worse with my dad. Sorry to hear that. Um, is there anything I can do? See him? I think it's about time you start learning the real competition. Yeah.
cooking. So you feeling good about today? Yeah. Thank you, by the way. Hey, it's no problem. You know, I'm really proud of you. I think you're doing an amazing job. This your protege, Edward? <clears throat> Don't you wish you were young enough to still compete? No. No, not really. I'm just glad I finally grew up. I'd introduce you to, but uh, something tells me that you're gonna be meeting up real soon. Edward's told me you're quite good. You know what, Angus? I want to get lost, huh? Dad? Mm -hmm. Dad, uh, this is Lily. Now she's in the tournament. Nice to meet you. Hey, you're not the second place type like Edward here, are you? I mean, you got a little more bite in you, right? No. Nice, Dad. Thanks. Well, look, I gotta change the uniform, get a couple more boxes, come back and watch the match, right? Nice to meet you. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. <coughs> well, that was weird. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's my dad. All right, everybody, let's make some noise here for these lovely contestants. Yeah. They're about ready to come into the auditorium. You guys play chess, do you, huh? Do you? My son did. He was sitting on the sidelines just like you. Well, you gotta get in the tournament. You gotta get in the tournament. Look at these kids. They're doing it. They're doing it. Yeah. Hey. Oh, the champ. That's great. Bravo, bravo. Wow. You're good. I mean, quick. I mean, Look, do you even think out there? I mean, your opponent's thinking. Are you thinking? I guess you're thinking. Are you can I have advice for her, Dad? Something useful? What? No, I don't have. I just say slow down, slow down. You know, breathe. I mean, you got the time. You know what? Why don't you take your time? What? It's a long tournament. You know. Is that it? Are you, are you done? You got it? Am I done? Yeah. Hey, you want me to get out of here? Is that what you say? Hey. <laughs> You know, I do have some advice for you. Don't hang with this loser. Right, you know what, I am so sick of this. Okay. I have done my best, okay? And that's never oh, good yeah? enough for you. I've worked my butt off, okay? Okay. okay. And you're miserable. Well, don't do that. I am sick of you doing that. Really? Sick of it. Really? Huh? Yes, huh? really. Oh, good. It's good to see you there. There you go. Don't ever touch me again. Yeah. Don't touch me. <sighs> Two champs. Oh. Okay. You okay? I'll be fine. All right, tomorrow, the play changes, okay? It's gonna be 10 minute games. It's not gonna be so easy. Lily, you made it into day two. Congratulations. Thank you. These are for later. Why, what's happening later? <laughs> I'm Edward. <laughs> Hi, Edward. You, uh, you might know my dad, Curtis Young. We're shipping and receiving. Right, Curtis. He's a great guy. He actually helps us with our product samples. Are you gonna come work for Checkmate too? Me, no. No, I want to be a mechanical engineer, you know? Work with my hands, design things. Are you on Facebook? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm Julie. That's my Checkmate account. What? Hello? Dr. Emerson? Anyone home? Dr. Emerson? Oh, just had a terrible setback. Can I go see him?
This is breaking community news. George Fellows, who was brutally attacked last Wednesday at the Main Street Library, has died. So sorry. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Mom. Can we go down there? Let's give her some time to herself, okay? All right. Come on. What are you gonna do? That's what everyone keeps asking me. Sometimes we like to think we can do everything ourselves. But the most important part is that we don't have to. What do you mean? People want to help and we should let them. That lady you told me about, the doctor, you have a relationship with her. I wish I had that kind of relationship with my son. You have a son? I do. I know you have a lot going through right now, but maybe you should go back to the tournament. Chess was something very special between you and your father. You should continue to celebrate his life through chess. Whatever happened to your son? Well, he's still around. Why don't you go see him? Something tells me I'm gonna be running into him real soon. What is he doing here? Angus, I just want- I don't want to hear it. I don't. Angus, grow up. I'm here to support you. Then why are you here with her? That's what I thought. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Don't be. I don't, I don't think it's a great idea I stay here. I understand. Willie. I heard about your dad. You okay? I'm fine. Do you want to talk about it? I just want to start playing for fun again. But I'll try my best. Okay, folks, the next round begins in five minutes. So please, find your tables and get ready. All right, listen, I know you're going through a lot, but today is a different level, okay? So you're gonna need to focus. Now remember, please, just don't sacrifice unless you know you can sustain your attack, you know? Now to get to today, everyone had to win all their games yesterday. So that means you're gonna be going up against the best. You ready to go out there? I'm gonna do it for him. Check. Recklessly during your mid game. I mean, you can't do that. You know, I mean, these kids playing out there are smart. He was inside your head the whole time. I won, didn't I? And besides, today is about having fun. Yes, but that's no reason not to play smart, too. Now, the next guy you're playing is sharp, okay? He's been crushing everybody. So, what I want you to do is I want you to play slowly, I want you to play cautiously, okay?
Good game. Good game. Three minutes. Go get him, Jim. Alright, please remember folks, this is a chess match. We expect you to practice good sportsmanship and follow all rules of tournament etiquette. Alright, now good luck to both of you. Good luck. You'll need it. I guess your father didn't teach you everything. Go ahead and refrain from any crosstalk. Me, I would have been castling on this side over here. That's where I would have castled, so I would have moved this stuff out of the way. You gotta play smart, Lily. Make every move count. I don't know what to do. Yes, you do. I miss you, Daddy. I always believed in you. Good game.
No, I'm going to wait. 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 I'm going to wait